Hi, I'm Rick Streaker, Packard's National Training Coordinator. Today, Aaron Wheeler and I, we're going to demonstrate the effect of static pressure on a blower. We're going to use a furnace. Now, the furnace is a downflow. There's no ductwork attached to it at this point. So we're going to simulate adding static pressure. Now, the static pressure is the pressure put on the components when that air is static. The furnace currently is buttoned up. All the doors and panels are on the furnace. After you replace a blower wheel in a blower, or if you place, replace the blower, make certain that when you're checking the amps, that all the doors and panels are on that furnace in order to get the proper static pressure that will give you the proper current reading, the proper amps. So what we're going to do, Aaron, is we're going to measure the current on that blower motor with everything in place. So I'll start this up if you'd like to get the meter ready. Aaron, what are the amps? 5.98. So 5.98 when, when the furnace has all of the doors and panels in place. So what we're going to do now is remove this panel so that we can access the blower. And we're there, then going to look at the impact with the change of that static pressure. And then we're going to change the static pressure on the blower by simulating it using cardboard to restrict the amount of air that gets to the blower. Now this particular panel has the filters attached to the back of it. Those filters add static pressure to this unit. Aaron, with this panel removed, what are the amps? So the amps are 7.08. So by taking the panel off, we've removed static pressure. Because we've removed static pressure, we've allowed more air to access the blower. With that additional air, the blower is working harder. Because the blower is working harder, the amps have gone up. Now what we'll do, Aaron, is we're going to add static pressure, and we're going to do that by using a piece of cardboard. That piece of cardboard will then restrict the amount of air we have. I'm going to slide this across and tell me if there is a change, first of all, whether the current is going up or going down. It's going down. So as I add static pressure, I'm restricting the amount of air and the blower does not work as hard because it doesn't have as much air. Now, give me some readings as I go through this. Now, I'll ask you for the readings. What is it now? 6.72. How about now? 5.81. And now? 5.78. So, as I add static pressure, I restrict the amount of air that gets to the blower the blower's not working as hard, and the amps go down on the motor. Now I'm going to add static pressure to the outlet. And as I add static pressure to that outlet, let's see the impact of that. So again, the amps right now, 5.78. So I'll take this piece of cardboard and block off part of the outlet. How about now, Aaron? 5.76. Now? 5.70. And now? 5.36. So it doesn't matter whether I add the static pressure 
to the inlet of the blower or whether I add it to the outlet. Adding that static pressure will restrict the amount of air that the blower can work. When it works less air, it's not working as hard, so the amps go down. Well, we appreciate you being a part of this Packard Academy. We do have additional training videos available on our website, PackardOnline.com. We also have them on our YouTube site. Thanks a lot.